She even helps one of the bullied boys become popular by supplying him with her undergarments. Wow. Bro, <laughs> what the f is this movie? Today, we're gonna tap into a little mystery recap story. In this school, the exam is doing it with the teacher, but one student fails intentionally re <laughs> repeatedly. All right, let's tap into this. Y'all wanted to watch this. I knew you'd click on this one. <laughs> you guys are so predictable, man. Elizabeth is hell? a middle-aged woman who works as a teacher at a junior high school. Due to her line of work, one would assume that she is very responsible and caring, but it is the exact opposite. Elizabeth is actually Whoa. a careless and rude woman who curses at the students and makes them watch movies in class. Most of the time, she is under the influence influence of either alcohol or narcotics. Elizabeth Imagine your teacher being high in class every single class. That's crazy. <laughs> or she just coming in like bad sh drunk. Like that's insane. Only has one aim in her life, to marry a rich guy and suck all of his wealth. In short, she is a What the hell? Guy. Currently, Elizabeth is dating the son of an extremely too. wealthy businessman, and things are looking good for her. So, one day, she arrogantly quits her job at the school, as she no longer requires employment. However, when she arrives home, she discovers her boyfriend and his mother waiting for her. In a shocking turn of events, the guy says that he doesn't want to marry her anymore. He has finally realized mm. that Elizabeth only cares about his money and nothing else. All these months, she has stolen money from his wallet. His and even his mom's room to buy expensive stuff for herself. Elizabeth tries to explain that this is not the case, but he doesn't listen and angrily leaves. This leaves Elizabeth in a tricky situation. Not only her, her, uh, her sugar daddy didn't drop the ass, bro. Guess the head wasn't good no more, bro. Stealing from your boyfriend is crazy, bro. Just ask him, bro. Ask him for a little Birkin bag. Suck his dick a little bit. Let him fuck you a little bit. And he'll probably do it, bro. I ain't gonna lie to these down bad nowadays not that i know from experience he has her dream of becoming rich shattered but she is also jobless now elizabeth tries looking for jobs for a few months but because she doesn't have much talent no one hires her at last she swallows her pride and rejoins her old employer the junior high school on her first day she bumps into her old nemesis amy squirrel and the two exchange some insulting <laughs> no, words with each other it is evident that both of them hate one another with a passion after this elizabeth heads to her class where the students are delighted to see her back However, she could care less. She doesn't even teach them, and instead- Yo, chat, what are y'all rating her 1 through 10? She's a solid cool little 7, but I can tell she's in her 30s, bro. Her face is wrinkly and sh and starts having her breakfast there. When the students start requesting for a new lesson, she turns on the television and makes them watch Stand and Deliver. Oh. Why were they requesting for a new lesson, bro? Please play the movie. Play the movie. Let it be free, Tom. Let me get on my phone. Re recapped version, saying that it will help improve their grades. After this, she covers her face with her jacket and falls asleep in the class. During the lunch break, Elizabeth reconciles with her only friend in the school, Lynn, who is also a fellow teacher. The two chat about their lives, and Elizabeth reveals that she is planning to undergo breast enhancement surgery surgery so that she can hell? be more beautiful and attract rich guys. See, that's the problem with society, man. Just love your body naturally or go to the gym and get a fat ass or something. I don't know, man. AKA sociopaths. Meanwhile, we are introduced to the gym teacher of the school, Russell. Ever since the get-go, he already know he want to tap that Elizabeth, but she never entertains him. This is because he lacks the only quality she looks for in men, being Money. rich. One day, a handsome guy named Scott joins the school as a substitute teacher, and when Elizabeth learns that he is wealthy, she immediately starts circling him. At an opportune well, moment, she bumps rich? into him. Is that Justin Bieber? I mean, is that Justin Timberlake? That is Justin Timberlake, first off. Second, how is he rich? He's he's a substitute teacher at a public, public school, bro. The hell? Learns that he is wealthy, she immediately starts circling him. At an opportune moment, she bumps into him and introduces herself. She then cleverly makes him reveal Justin his Timberlake. relationship status. Did I say Justin Beaver? No, I meant Justin Timberlake. Turns out to be single. Scott opens up that he recently broke up with his girlfriend and even goes on to show a picture of her. When Elizabeth sees it, she becomes jealous as the girl has a large God damn chest. She also assumes that Scott only prefers those kinds of women, so she makes it her aim to undergrow breast enhancement surgery. In the next scene, Elizabeth heads or to just a be a good person to fill out the form for the surgery, but when she learns that the procedure will cost her a whopping $9,000, well, she immediately stops. Elizabeth doesn't even have $50 in her account, so she will have to wait for the time being. That night, she calls all her friends and acquaintances, hoping that she can get some donation for the surgery. However, since all of them know her true nature, they simply hang up on her. Hold on, bro. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. For the surgery. However, since all...
What the hell is she doing? She's slashing tires and shit? Oh, hell no. All of them know her true nature. They simply hang up on her. Elizabeth then reverts to her ex-boyfriend and demands that he pay her $9,000 as compensation for, for breaking off their marriage. <laughs> but even he refuses and disconnects the call, much to her frustration. The next morning in class, as Elizabeth is passing the time as usual, one of the students approaches her. Is that The next morning in class, as Elizabeth That's is passing Raymond. the time as usual, one of the students approaches her and inquires if she would like to have her car washed. She further explains that the entire class will be participating in the annual car wash event, which will be a lot of fun. Elizabeth doesn't even listen to her words, but when the student reveals that they earned $6,000 last year, she Whoa. becomes startled. Okay. Hey, hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I ain't gonna buy old girly, bro. Put on that two piece and get to washing them cars, bro. I'm not gonna lie. All the, all the dads finna, uh, all the dads finna pull up and you feel me? Support the school. You feel me? But they're gonna request you to wash their car and shit. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, wash my car, children. Buy me some tits. Elizabeth then inquires which <laughs> teacher is leading them to the event. And to her dismay, she learns that it is none other than her nemesis, Amy. Despite the setback, oh, Elizabeth no, is no. unwilling to pass up Amy's on such a golden world. opportunity. So she heads to the principal's office and starts seducing him with her looks. Once he becomes aroused, she requests that he make her in charge of the car wash event. Instead, Amy, is. to her delight, he agrees without even thinking twice. The following morning, Elizabeth heads to the event in the most revealing dress that she can find oh she then yeah and begins washing the cars oh while yeah also splashing a lot of water on her body this shocks all the women around but the men are happy at what they see even a police <laughs> yo that nigga was for so hard bro thank god you cut that shit out this man gets captivated by her beauty so much that he crashes his car that nigga was horny as hell. That nigga ain't got caught lacking. Or into another. Elizabeth then demands extra money from the men, claiming that her school is in dire need of extra funds for the students. Surprisingly, the plan works, as by the end of the day, she is able Damn. to make around $10,000. Elizabeth Bro, what? gives half of it to the school and secretly keeps the other half for herself. Meanwhile, Amy catches wind of this and angrily goes to the principal. The latter is relieving Horty himself in the toilet. Man. So he is expectedly enraged at the sudden intrusion into his privacy. Amy claims that Elizabeth is stealing from the school funds and demands that she be punished. However, the principal says, Why is she sitting in a utero, bro? This weird ass, nasty ass girl. Says that he can do nothing until solid evidence is found against her. The next day at school is the annual parent teacher meeting. As expected, many parents have lined up in Elizabeth's class as all of them are angry with how their children are being taught. They confront Elizabeth and demand an explanation as to why she never teaches lessons and always plays movies in the class. Also, what gives? Why are you so damn sexy? That's what I'm gonna be wondering. In response, she simply says, don't teach me how to do my work. After a while, when the meeting ends, a concerned father approaches Elizabeth and secretly hands her $200, requesting that she give his son extra attention. This gives our cunning protagonist yet another idea. She Whoa, $200? You're bribing your teacher. Bribing a teacher is crazy, first off. And then bribing the teacher to give your son extra attention instead of just bribing her to give him better grades is crazy. I ain't gonna lie, you're wasting your money, bro. He meets with all the parents one by one and takes money from them, promising that she will give their children personal attention. Oh, now, hell not as whore. only $2,000 short of her breast Loki. enhancement Loki. surgery. Loki, <laughs> method, though. As the days pass, she continues being irresponsible and totally neglects her students. Elizabeth also rejects I want extra attention. Russell's Hell advances. Yeah. However, she does form a friendship with him. On the other hand, Amy has also started making a move on the wealthy and handsome Scott. The two have become close and are Justin. always together, making Elizabeth extremely jealous. One day, she learns from her best friend, Lynn, that the school is going to host a competition for the teachers. Whosoever makes their students get the best grades in the upcoming state test will win a cash prize of $5,000. Sounds like some new tips to me. Hearing this, what the Elizabeth hell? becomes ecstatic, and she decides to finally start teaching her students. So, from the very next day, she comes early. She is very, very flat. Oh, I thought she would be, like, way thicker. This this movie is probably older. Like, this feels like a 2000s movie, though. Wait, isn't this bad, teacher? Yo, how did this... Hold on. Loki, let me think. Isn't this bad, teacher? Hell yeah! Yo! I've never watched this movie, but uh, I've heard of it. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Damn, all right, yeah. Early to class and makes everyone open their books, shocking them. Elizabeth also makes sure to give them homework and daily assignments. She doesn't even let them talk to each other in class. This goes on for a few days and the students greatly oh. improve. However, it is still not enough to pass the upcoming state test, which is only a few days away. Elizabeth, who is How you just get that? I'm not gonna lie, I'm slow as hell. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I really wasn't paying attention. I'm just, I, I, 
I'm low-key just paying attention to her the whole time, bro. I'm not gonna lie. When the $5,000 cash prize decides to take matters into her own hands, that night, she dresses seductively and approaches a state professor named Carl, who is in charge of preparing and distributing test questions. The plan works, and the man immediately gets aroused and takes her to his place. When he heads to his bedroom to prepare, Elizabeth spikes his drink with sleeping pills. Oh, hell no, Cardi B! Which Carl later consumes and gets knocked out. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Elizabeth steals the questions from him and gives what them the to her students. The following week, the test results come out, and all her students pass with exemplary grades, hence making her hell victorious. No. Elizabeth wins the $5,000 cash prize, and with this, she finally has enough money to undergo the surgery. We'll see how much good the new boobies do her when she's in jail. So, without wasting any time, she heads to the clinic and books an appointment. However, the next day, she gets dejected to learn that Scott has now started dating Amy. They appear to be deeply in love with each other. Oh, Elizabeth no. is enraged that her plans are once again being foiled by her nemesis, but she is still unwilling of to give up. Of course, had the to ruin this shit, bro. The school is taking she did all of that. She committed like five to ten different crimes, all to get new boobs for a nigga that did not want her. Who in fact actually, who in fact actually wanted though. <laughs> Yo, crazy part about it, she he he actually went for a girl that's like way that looks way worse. Like Mrs. Squirrel, like are we fucking serious, man? Like come on, bro. Like come on, man. What the charge hell? will be Scott and Amy. Like this? Come on, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That that's tough with each other. Elizabeth is enraged that her plans are once again being foiled by her nemesis, but she is still unwilling to give up. The following week, the school is taking all the students on a tour, and the ones in charge will be Scott and Amy. When Elizabeth learns of this, she comes up with a cunning plan. She injects an apple with some chemical and leaves oh, it on the hell desk, no. knowing that she is- Oh, hell no! No, it was never that serious. You didn't committed like 10 crimes in this one movie, bro. What the hell? Get your freak. shit together, man. Expected, Amy takes a bite out of the apple without even inquiring where it came from. By the evening, her face is covered with rashes. Oh, hell allergies. no. Fearing that she might spread it to the students, the principal appoints Elizabeth to replace her in the tour. In the next scene, Elizabeth takes full advantage of the deep. opportunity and becomes close with Scott. That night, they even have intercourse in secret. Elsewhere, an Whoa. envious Amy starts looking for clues to expel Elizabeth from the school. She she goes to her class and tries scanning through her desk, but most of the drawers are locked. Hence, Amy switches her desk with Elizabeth's and then makes a janitor break open the drawer to her delight. That's low-key smart. But that's crazy level of hatred. It's never that deep. Then again, though, hot teacher did the same thing. She discovers the question papers that Elizabeth had stolen from Carl. Following this, Amy heads to the principal's room and tells him everything about how Elizabeth cheated to help her students get good grades. This time, the principal believes her, but he also says that he can only fire Elizabeth if Carl confesses to the story. So, the same day, Amy confronts Carl in his office and blackmails him into confessing everything. She I warns him that if he doesn't, she will expose She's all so of his ugly, wrongdoings oh, God, in public. Bro. Reluctantly, the poor guy agrees. Elsewhere on the tour, Elizabeth is having a great time with the students. She even helps one of the bullied boys become popular by supplying him with her undergarments. Wow. She That's so wrong, bro. She's she's going to jail. When Russell sees this, he <laughs> becomes greatly hell? impressed. He commends Elizabeth on her generosity, and in response, she compliments his honesty and good looks. Their romantic conversation is rudely interrupted, though, when Amy arrives at the scene hell and taunts no. Elizabeth that she is going to be arrested soon. Hearing this, our protagonist realizes that the stolen test papers have been found, so she comes up with a plan of her own. As soon as she heads home, she pays her roommate and orders him to deliver a package to Earl. When the latter receives the package and opens it, he finds several nude pictures of him, which Elizabeth had apparently taken when he was knocked out. Dude. Oh, this bitch is evil. She is so evil. Chat, yo, how many crimes has this, has this <laughs> how many crimes has she committed this one movie? Huh? Nigga, lock her up. Oh my god. Had apparently taken when he was knocked out. Dude, she's going to, she's, she's going to jail. Now she asks <laughs> him to make a false confession, and in return, she will keep his photos a secret. This puts Hell Carl no, in a bro. very tough situation, as both the ladies are blackmailing him with their demands. But after a lot of consideration, he sides with Elizabeth and lies that he has never even met her. Nah, then Liz Elizabeth is crazy. herself steps forward and claims that someone in the school had been using narcotics in class. Here, it is revealed that she has already discovered that Amy had switched desks in her absence, while the lowermost drawer contains the test papers, the uppermost one 
one contains narcotics. This Whoa. drawer is still closed, and Amy has no idea what's inside of it. Because of Elizabeth's claims, several cops storm the school. Oh, no, nah, she's all cooked. The when it's Amy's turn, the narcotics are found, and she is immediately taken into custody. This... Ah. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, W play, man. I, I, I can't hate. I can't hate, man. W play. W play. I, I can't lie. That's a W play. <laughs> <laughs> That's a W play. Yo, 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 appreciate you for the raid, twin. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, yo, how was stream, twin? How was stream, man? We just watching a little story time recap. Y'all missed the whole movie, bro. I'm not finna lie. But damn. This finally brings an end to the war between the two ladies. In the final scene, Scott approaches Elizabeth and asks her out on a date, expressing that he likes her. But surprisingly, she turns him down. Elizabeth says that she already has someone in her life who is smart, caring, and handsome. Oh, hell no, bro. Come on, man. You, 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 you end up with the bum at the end of the day? Come on, you choosing... Stinky ass gym teacher over Justin Timberlake, bro. Come on, let, let's let's keep it real. Three hour strain, you dig? Bro, yo, Hannes, you finally pulled off a three hour stream, man. Welcome to the club. I've been streaming for four hours. Don't feel special, bro. You just now get into the club, man. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, next time, do a three hour stream without taking breaks, bro. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm playing, bro. Congratulations, bro. She then turns to Russell and kisses him passionately, hence starting their relationship. Elizabeth also cancels her breast enlargement surgery as she is no longer interested in attracting rich guys. The movie okay. ends as Elizabeth promises to be a serious teacher and help all her students achieve excellent academic grades from now on. But she's still a bad person, and I still uh, think she should go to jail. What the fuck is the Oh, let's get let's get off of this screen. <laughs> yo, yo, good video, man. I ain't gonna lie. That that was entertaining, bro. She's a horrible teacher, though. Like, literally, like, the worst of the worst. Like, how the fuck did she get a job? I ain't gonna lie. She's smart as hell, though. She should be a criminal or some shit, man. I ain't gonna lie. If she was a black woman, oh, shit. The potential she could have, I ain't gonna lie. That shit could be crazy. <laughs>